Hey guys, today we're releasing the first mobile Ethereum node, Status. For the first time, you can interact with dApps and transact directly on the Ethereum network from your Android or iOS device. We also believe that as a community, we need a decentralized communication tool so we can find and transact with each other globally. Status is built on the Whisper Ethereum subprotocol and allows us to do just that. I've also added myself as a default contact within Status, so feel free to come chat with me. Now we're currently in alpha and there's plenty of bugs, but we've got to catch them all and that's where you come in. So join our early access or download a nightly, even build it yourself. And all you need to do is shake your phone when you find something that's wrong and send in your feedback. Now we're completely open source and we're community driven. So come join our Slack and help us shape the future. Now, with that out of the way, I'd like to give you a quick walkthrough on how to get started. All right. So, uh... We're going to test out status, uh, run through how to get it set up with your first account, and then we're going to send a transaction between an Android and iOS device. So we're going to hit status here, hit status there. Okay, so this is the second time I've run this uh, application, which is why you're seeing this lock screen. Uh, but on the first run, you'll see console. Uh, console is the first autonomous entity that uh, you'll meet within Status. Uh, it's there to help you set up your account and uh, change your settings. Uh, you can also execute JavaScript in it uh, and access Web3, uh, something similar to uh, Go Ethereum itself. So um, first we see this request message here uh, asking us to set up our password. So we can tap on this and type in our password. On Test one, two, three, and to re enter, test one, two, three. Okay. That's going to do, to set it up. So now it's generating the, the keys. So we'll do it over here, two, three. Uh, now you can tap this bottom left corner, which is the command list icon. Uh, it will show you the available requests. Uh, at the moment, there's a request message for you uh, asking for the number. Um, and there's also a force at command. So we're just going to run this twice on each force. So we have a little bit of play money. Okay, great. So now um, we'll add each other. It's pretty straightforward. And uh, now after you have a generated account, you don't actually have to enter in your phone number. You, you have the back button will be available for you. So you can just tap on the back and you go there. You get the chat uh, chat list here. You have two chats open. Uh, one is with the wallet dApp and the other one with the console. Uh, swipe over here to discover. At the moment, we haven't found any discover and it won't be in this video. And the contacts page is pre-populated with a couple of default dApps. Um, if you're a dApp developer, uh, ping me or um, submit a pull request to add the DAP and we'll, we're happy to end it, uh, put it in. Just needs to be with Robston. Uh, there is also this uh, Jared contact if you'd like to chat with me in status as well, assuming I'm online. So anyway, um, we'll go to the profile and we'll show our public key. Uh, the public key is because it is injected into Whisper, uh, meaning you can communicate and transact with the, the same public key. And we will add this user by scanning the QR code on iOS. Wait. Okay. So I'll go that. So we can go P. Wait. Back here, and hopefully, we have a message. Now, at the moment, uh, we don't have this uh, contact in our contact list, um, so we can tap Add to Contacts up here, and that'll add that user. And uh, all right, so now we've got some communication between each other. Now uh, let's try and send our iOS device um, some F. 
All of these commands you can type in as well. So now if you confirm our transaction, two, three. And it is as simple as that. Now, Wallet is a DAP, and uh, we have a, an open uh, transaction here. Um, hopefully, this loads. Okay, so we have a main wallet with two Ethernet. If we open it, um, we can see the transaction list. Uh, apparently, the outgoing one hasn't been isn't displaying here. This is provided by Etherscan. Um, if you pull this down, you can actually see the transaction history or the chat history within the wallet as well. And uh, that's pretty much it for now. But um, yeah, you can go open up all these other dApps and uh, they'll load up and work just fine. Cool, thanks.